Hi everyone, this is Bob from Pine Grow. Hopefully by this point you have either read through or um, watched the video that taught how to bring the Ferala design blocks into your Pine Grow web editor for use in a project. This video is just going to use those blocks and demonstrate to you how easy it is to put together a quick page uh, where you can use those blocks along with the wonderful built-in controls in Pine Grow uh, to quickly put together and style a web page. I have to say I'm going to go a little fast and I'm not going to give this uh, a real lot of styling, but I just want to give you an idea. All right, so I've already got my project set up. Uh, I've already brought my uh, Ferala Min CSS into the project as well as activating Font Awesome 5. This is a Bootstrap 4 project. Uh, needed for the Fuala, uh blocks. Um, so let's get building. So first thing you want to do once you have your project opened is you want to go to your library tab. Go ahead and click on that plus and then bring in um, your Ferala design blocks pages. So I had these already from the, um, uh, from the tutorial but I'm just going to show you again really quickly. So we go to that unzipped file, the Ferala design blocks and click on, on any of those pages to open them up in our Pine Grow. All right, so now you should see something like this. If you see a mobile uh, uh, icon, a hamburger icon here at the top, you want to open this window up until you see these guys to make navigating through them a lot easier. All right, let's put together a quick page. So let's start with a nav block. Uh, so let's navigate to the headers. So hover over this and then alt or option click. So that is the normal sort of, uh, whoops, sorry, that's the sort of normal test click that you would do on a Divi page and that lets us click through on uh, this page. Bring up our headers content and then we can go ahead and just select one of these. Again, in the breadcrumbs down here at the bottom of this panel, you want to make sure you're at the base element and not within one of the elements. So we're just going to pick that base. I'm going to drag it to the tree. I just find it easier, more precise, quicker than trying to drag to the page uh, most of the time. All right, so now once we got that up there, this is now uh, available to any of the Pine Grow tools to be able to change styling or to change the element itself. So let's just do that. Let's go ahead and change out um, their logo from Fruala to a logo that we want. And I've already grabbed one off the web. So if we go to our uh, element properties tab over here to the right, you can see that we can change out that icon. So we can get rid of that one and go ahead, grab another one, go back into my project, uh, assets, images, we're gonna use this guy here. Open that up, it's a nice little panda. Comes out small on the page, so we're gonna to have to increase the height. So bump that up, and now we've got our panda on the page. Love pandas. And let's change out our alt text. Panda logo, great. All right, uh, let's get some more content on the page before coming back to this navigation up here. So let's start off with some kind of hero image of some type or another. Uh, let's see if there's anything under content that we like. Uh, so I navigated there again by alt or option clicking on that contents button. Uh, brought this up. Uh, just scrolling through to see if I see something good, kind of like this phone, might want to use that later. Um, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and click on that. Remember, you want to be at the base element uh, and just drag that right down to the page. Well, that looks pretty good. All right. Um, so according to this navigation up here, if we consider this our home hero element, we now want to put in some features. Um, Let's go and see if there's anything here in content. I'm going to alt click, move to that content. Whoop, that's contacts. Uh, so let's go to here. Alt click. Uh, yeah, because we're putting in features. Um, let's see if there's something that looks, catches my eye quickly. Just trying to put this together rather quickly so oh, it's not a 30 minute video. Uh, remember, if you click on an element inside, you can just go down in those breadcrumbs to the very first one. 
I'm going to collapse my tree here and drag that block right on. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, next, um, let's add something else that could be considered features. I like that phone one. Let's go back to here, see if there's something else that catches my eye. We've got these blobby shapes that they like to use and that are on this phone. Maybe, yeah, we can use this one. Nice blobby shape. Base block, collapse down my tree, drag it on. And since this one's going to the right, let's see if they got one to the left. No. Yeah, here's that phone. Let's do that one. So, collapse my tree, make sure I'm in the base block, drag it on. Okay, let's see what's next. Next up, pricing. So we navigate to the uh, pricings. Go ahead and click on there. Let's find something a little simpler, a little simple, maybe with some icons. I think I want this a little bigger. Right now it's displaying me at a smaller breakpoint. Yeah, I like the big breakpoint. Well, it's got icons, but it's a little busy. Maybe this one. Okay, we're up a little bit, so let's make sure we select the base and drag that down to the tree. Hmm. So one thing that they don't have here is contact. I think I want to contact. Let's navigate there. Option click. Not a little bit big. Want something a little simpler, maybe with a blob. That's not bad. Simple with a blob. Let's then select the base, drag it. Oh, as it turns out, that does have a map. So let's get rid of that map. Okay, so you can see it's an iframe. Sometimes iframes do funny things when you click on them within Pine Grow. So let's navigate to the tree and go ahead and pick that container containing the iframe map. And right here, click on the delete. Okay, so now we got rid of that map. I didn't, didn't really want that there. That shows that you can take any of these blocks out of the uh, Fruala design blocks and alter them so that they fit what you want a little bit better. Okay, last thing, let's go ahead, do a team section. Um, collapse our tree down. Not bad. Yeah, let's go with that one. Drag it to the tree. All right, and then finally, oh yeah, let's do a footer. Alt click, let's pick a simple one and drag it down to the tree. All right, so now you've got your page pretty well put together. We did a little bit of alteration, but not too much. Um, let's make sure that that uh, navigation is working. So uh, first thing we have to do is let's go ahead and assign all of these guys um, uh, anchor links. Uh, let's also, because we put in that extra one below pricing and above team, let's put in a contact. So let's do that first. So if we click on this and then look over in the tree, we actually don't want the link. We want the nav bar item. So we'll click on that and we'll hit duplicate. So now we've got two of them. So let's change this one. Click on the text here. Contact. Okay, we're done with that. Now we can go to these guys. Actually, since we're done with bringing new content in for right now, I think, let's go ahead and move the tree here. And let's go ahead and collapse this down. That'll give us some more working room. Maybe we'll even bring in a phone here. Turn off the grids and columns. All right. Um, so if we click on this and go over here, uh, whoops, go here, um, we can see that uh, for this nav bar link, um, the one that's home, we can instead give it to a um, ID of home for our anchor. Next one, if 
feature features pricing so my neighbors just started working outside and my dogs are not appreciative of it I apologize for that uh, contact and for this one team so hopefully I got all those right now we have to for each of these sections go through and give them the correct ID so this one's our home if we go ahead and option click collapse all those down so the next one is our features Then next one down, we're not going to name. Next one down, not going to name. Okay, this one's our pricing. And then the last one down should be our team. So that should take care of our anchor tags. Now, if we just go ahead and save that and preview in a browser. Let's see what we got. So we've got this. If we click on features. We are not scrolling. So let's see why we're not scrolling. What did I forget? So if I go up here, that should scroll to ID of home. ID of home. Ah, so I accidentally, I guess, into each one where I put an ID, I accidentally put a hash in front of it, um, which of course will cause it to have two hashes and not work. So we'll save that again. Go back to our browser and let's give it a try. There we go. Now we can navigate. So I'm going to stop there, but what you can see is how easy it is to um, bring those design blocks in and then alter them in Pine Grow. So we can do other things like now I could come in and if I wanted to say pick this one, um, go ahead and uh, right click to bring up our context menu, hit classes and say, um, add a background, right? Um, that's one way we could do it. Another way we could do it is to go over here to styling and create the class here. Um, so in this case, it would be dot add a background. In this case, it'll create it in our style sheet and it will also add the class add background to this section. So let create, go down here. Let's go ahead and pick a color. Let's go ahead and pick that yellow from the phone. Okay, nothing showed up. And what I can see is that basically my styles is loading in after my fualablocks.min.css. Um, and so we're getting our rules preempted by um, the existing rules for background color. So what I'm going to do here is just add um, uh, higher selection, uh, higher specificity. I'm going to do that just by editing this. And what we can do is we can simply choose that base block name. So we can say dot fdb dash block. Okay, there we go. We had enough specificity that that came up really nicely. Um, all right, so then uh, all you would have to do uh, is, you know, just go through each of your sections, maybe tighten up the spacing that looks pretty large, um, and uh, fix some of the links down here, fix your social links, make sure that they're going to the right places um, under your attributes. Uh, you can uh, actually there's there's uh, no ref actually um, in this one uh, they're just icons so whoops they're on the one above so you could then change that to 
my Twitter, whatever your Twitter is. Um, and then just go ahead and you know do editing, like changing out these images, uh, changing out uh, the names, things like that. So I hope you can appreciate how quick and easy that is. Uh, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Remember, get us ideas for what you would like to see.